I think over the last decades, uh, foreign ministers and foreign ministries have lost ground dramatically. The international agenda has broadened. There are many, the constituency is much, much greater than before. No single institution within the state can handle foreign policy by itself. Uh, increasingly, it's only the prime ministers who can really uh, knock heads together and really take decisions on foreign policy. This is a new development. It also has its negative uh, side effects. Parallel, of course, the European Council also became much more important also in the area of foreign policy. And the Foreign Affairs Council, similarly, uh, today is not what it used to be. It, it's much reduced in its prestige and in, in clout. At the moment when the prime ministers come together, and discuss foreign policy, they all do it from the perspective of their national uh, intelligence services, emb embassies, etc. They have a very narrow national perspective of a particular problem. I think we would achieve much better results if we would have a collective analysis as a basis for the discussions. If we use the EU delegations, if you, we use the EU operations, if we use the expertise in the Commission and the External Action Service together, we could have a much better sort of collective basis for the discussion and a much better chance to get substantive decisions. The European Council has to be better connected to the other elements of the foreign policy infrastructure of the European Union. Right now, sometimes it leads a life of its own. Uh, it's not very well uh, integrated into the overall system. I think if uh, Mr. Tusk, the new president of the European Council, and Mrs. Mogherini work very well together. They can make sure that the whole system uh, hangs together much, much better and delivers better results.